Bro, Soap is just the best, bro. What is going on, you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're reacting to Mishoku Tensei Season 2, Episode 24, called Succession. If you like the video, smash the like button. Let's just jump straight into this. So, if I'm not mistaken, this is the final episode of the season. Oh, he's running to Sulfi, probably. Does he miss his wife that bad? Why didn't I realize sooner? True Paul died. But that was sadness, not regret. Did I not say that basically his child is going to be born because uh, it's like it should be around about nine months man and he goes back to that home imagine she's standing there. wait what she's gone bro the place is completely empty what happened Oh, wow. She's there. Oh, yeah, his hand is gone. Oh, dude. Oh, my gosh. She's. <laughs> dude, she's holding a piece of log in her hand. Look how long her hair is as well. Everyone's been good to me. But she did say she's gonna grow out of hair. We haven't had any trouble. She's gonna see his hand now. Welcome home. It's good to be home. Damn, Roxy just looks down. Okay, I was like tripping out. Okay, so we got Zenith. We got Lilia. Oh, and no one's gonna see her mom. But hasn't she seen her yet? Oh man, and Paul's not there. Wow. Now she's going to experience that for the first time now. Met his end. Man, it's like we just experienced it when it happened. And now it's like we have to go through it again. You were with him. I fell short. Oh, there she sees the hand is off. I really wonder what the regret is. Is it maybe the hand? You did all you could, right? Wow, if your best wasn't good enough, then no one's would be. Wow. Man, and it's like, she was just getting onto her feet, you know? Going to school, like, regaining confidence. And now, like, it's another big blow. Do you mind if I take that sword? But don't use it without a good reason. You can't protect what matters to you without mental discipline. And now she's starting to see Paul in Rudy. You may have that sword, but don't think that's what makes you strong. 
So is this what they mean by succession in terms of the episode's name? Where... Wait, what? Is she finally moving around? Just say Paul or something. Will she ever get better? I'd like her to live here with us. We all have to put up with little inconvenience. Bro, Sulp is just the best, bro. Like, she's just okay with everything. You know. Or we divide the chores then. She wants to do all the chores herself. Probably. Oh, yeah, you shouldn't hold back because she's not even, like, letting out the feelings. It's kind of weird, like, it's your family, but you're, like, the, you're like the help, right? The domestic worker. It's like a weird thing. I wonder if the episode will end with like the baby being born. Now I'm off to see Cliff. Oh my gosh. Brutus loves you. Oh my gosh, she's gonna allude to the whole Roxy thing. Well, that's what she's saying. Like, Rudy loves you. Like, don't forget that. I have something important to tell you. Oh my gosh. And she probably already knows because she's so smart. I'm listening. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is going to happen here? But like I said, Sophie is like, Sophie is the best. So she'll just be like, okay, if that's what you want. <laughs> and watch Roxy standing like she's in trouble, bro. As my second wife. Oh my gosh. What do you mean? <laughs> no one is... Oh my gosh. What is gonna happen here? Maybe this could be the regret. Roxy saved me from that. Meaning, we smashed. That's what saved me. I told you I'd stay faithful. But I couldn't keep my promise. Why should she? Do you think Rudy is alright? I miss Rudy. I accepted that she couldn't save dad. You lost your left hand, so I figured things just got that dangerous. Spare time to take a new woman to bed. Locking yourself into the room when it feels like you've lost hope. Millis would never allow taking two wives. Why a little girl like her? <laughs> She's like a thousand years old. You be quiet. Oh my gosh. Wow. It's like a heavy family discussion. I've been shameless. Please forgive me. But no one's listened to what Sophie said. Oh my word, Sophie, of course. Stay. Oh, I don't even know, dude. Man, tears. Just let her go. <laughs> Dude, no one is 
has no chill, bro. But obviously, she has her, her right. It'll be alright. But you helped Rudy. I had ulterior motives. I think I'd have done the same thing in your shoes. I thought it was just a matter of time. <laughs> you know how dirty his mind is. <laughs> I bet I look just like that. Rudy's always talking about you. She's the only mage I look up to. <laughs> Bro, everybody needs a selfie in their life. What? My jealousy is all gone. I welcome you. Damn. Let's support Rudy together. I don't really see any regret in this. But I mean, it could still be a bit early to decide, you know. Oh, she's practicing now. Can't accept it. So basically, this is probably succession, like I said. Rudy doesn't follow the teachings of Millis. That is correct. Oh, wait. Maybe the succession is Rudy's being like Paul's successor because, you know, of the two wives thing. <laughs> no one blew her top. <laughs> When are you expecting? A little over a month from now. So they only went for eight months, basically. Wow. Please let me wait until you give birth. Two swords. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the baby. Madame Sophia. Oh my, what is that? Oh, it's a girl. She looks like Rudy. Oh yeah, and he's only got one hand. She's your baby, Rudy. So she gave birth to her. <laughs> oh, she's got elf ears as well. Oh, that's where the grave is. Long time no see. Man, so they've skipped ahead. But I'm surprised that they don't have any like magic to regrow his hand. But my child was born. Lucy. Lucy Greyra. Oh. <laughs> this dude's celebrating you, dude. Gislaine or Ellen Elise. I was a failure as a son. But I see myself as Paul Greyrat's son now. I've realized I was still a kid, just a brat using old memories to act grown up. 
But I'm sure I'll fail plenty more times. Very interesting season, I will say. And I'll give my thoughts on it afterwards, but very interesting. Next time I'll bring the whole family. Oh, the wind again. It's Paul. Whoa, was that Eleanor Lee? Was that Iris? Eris, I mean. Did you see how long her hair was? Without regrets. So what exactly was he talking about? The man god. Maybe they'll give like a cliffhanger at the end or something. Oh, that's for the third season. I mean, I don't know what they said, but maybe they said, like, we'll, we'll return soon or something. Wow, so that was it, right? Uh, season 2 is done. And basically what I was saying is why it's such a different... Why it was such a different season was because, you know, in season 1, there was a lot that happened, right? We had the big initial part of him being reincarnated. Then we saw him, like, we realized, like, oh, the show is about magic and sword fighting and stuff like that. Then we saw he had these memories as a baby and him growing up and seeing everything. And we saw the animation and then we know we met Roxy and he was like this master magician basically like blew the hole out the top of the attic um, wall. And he was, he grew up, right? He went, you know, like he met his family, the Grey Rats. He, um, he met Eris. He went on to the demon continent. He met... Rouged. Season 1 was just packed, right? And then, I mean, not even just that, the whole teleportation thing that happened. We met the dragon god, we met the man god. Like, all these things took place. And so it was jam-packed full of things. And so that's why I said Season 2 was a lot different and a lot slower. But what we did see in Season 2 was Rudy becoming his own, like really becoming a man, you know, being a dad now now he's got two he's gonna have two wives the way he's able to deal with things is way better than before you know like when he lost Eris, he was you know in the room there crying for like a week and now he had roxy to help him over paul's death and you know he's got his house now and his sisters are with him he saved his mom so we really have seen him sort of come into his own and you're only going to see him get better and better and better. Because a lot of like those things, I guess that, you know, were like, you know, the scumbag parts of Rudy have subsided a lot. Like it probably dropped about 80% in this season. So that's in itself is why I wouldn't say this was the best season ever, but it just it speaks to like the longevity of the show. You know, they're, they're able to give this season just to just to push on the character development and, you know, and then work with it from there. So, man, really amped to keep watching the show. It's some it's a show I've really ended up liking and I can't wait to keep watching it whenever it does come out. But that's going to be it for me. If you like the video, smash the like button, subscribe if you want. I'm going to leave the last episode right up of here. Thanks for watching. If you're watching, I'm out. Peace. In a bit.